What's up guys, welcome back. Okay, this is the left pulmonary artery that I have formed and I'm gonna get the clay wet. I'm going to score it or scratch the clay in two different directions and I'm going to score the underside of the left pulmonary artery and I'm gonna score all around where it attaches. Now, check this out, here's a, here's a pro tip, right? you want to put it on and see where it attaches and since you it was wet it's going to give you an idea of where to score all right now before i put it on i want to make sure that i'm nice and clean i don't have too many crumbs around my left atrium because once i stick this on i'm not going to be able to fit my fingers in there so i want to get that edge nice and clean Okay, then I can put my left atrium on there. See how I wouldn't be able to fit my finger in between there? So I get that nice and clean before I fully attach it. And I'm gonna put, put that on. And I really wanna push hard and blend it. Okay, we want a secure connection. I have a tiny bit of water on my finger. All right. Here we go. That's a little better. What you don't want to do is make make it look like the tube is flat. These tubes are not flat, they're round, right? Sometimes I'll see students and they'll put put tubes on and they'll they'll just go like this for the for this piece and they'll just flatten it out. And um, it looks like it, it, it goes from like round to flat. That's not what it does. It goes from round and it goes into the, into the heart. Right? Okay. So in this image, put my heart on my donut. You can see this is a top view. Okay. And you can see here is a landmark, right? This little ear shape is the left atrium. This is the left pulmonary artery, what we've made. And I've just made it to about here. And you can see this is really short. One opening, two openings. And then this is a really long opening and it needs to be long so that the aortic arch can go over it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do now. And looking at that drawing and then looking at my heart, I can see where I am, All right? Can you guys see where I am? So I've got that and I need to know about how much clay do I want to use, right? For this tube. I want this tube to end way over here. So I've got my slab of clay and I'm going to kind of measure it out and I'm always going to have, I always want to cut more than I need because I can trim off. It's easier to trim than it is to add later. So if I trim off that piece, I think that should be about right. I'm gonna see which side I want to be on the outside. In the outside piece, I'm going to first compress the clay with my fingers, lining up those particles, okay? And then I'm gently gonna put it, turn it over, and now I'm gonna start to curl it and roll it up into a, um, into a tube, right? Don't worry if you've made the wrong size tubes. Um, just keep them and pay attention to about how big that rectangle was before you rolled it up, okay? And pay attention to it and then make a smaller one in the, ne the next time or a larger one at, if you need to. You're probably gonna end up making a, a rectangle that's a little too big, that's my guess. A lot of people when they're making hearts, they end up with huge tubes or huge hearts 
we're gonna try and keep this about life size about the size of your fist with appropriate sized tubes so as you can see I scored up those edges again I'm not overlapping I'm bringing it bringing the edges face to face and pinching them and again got my lateral compression now I need some vertical compression in this case the ocarina stick is going to be great I'll put it on the inside of the seam and then I'll push down and across that seam that's a good tube that's a decent tube Okay, got a little flat, didn't it? There we go. Okay, now it's gonna go on, but I don't wanna just have it like a T intersection, right? It's not a T, it's more of a Y when, when, the bran when it branches out. So what I will do is I'm gonna Put a little arch in it, a little bend. And let me cut this off a little bit shorter. I know the next tube is the aortic arch and that's gonna go over it, so I need it needs to be long. It's gonna be like that. Okay. Okay. So here I go. Going to remove some of this. A little open heart surgery. Wah, wah. And do you see this like acute angle right here? That's a little sharp. In real life, the blood doesn't flow like, it's not, it's not a sharp angle like that. It's, it's a rounder, it's more obtuse. So I'm going to open this up. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna cut an I'm gonna cut a triangle. I'm gonna cut a triangle on the end of that pulmonary artery. I'm gonna cut not a triangle here. I'm just gonna cut a line. And I'm gonna open it up. Uh yeah, okay, I'm gonna cut a triangle. <laughs> I'm gonna cut a triangle out here. much better in fact I'm gonna flare this you see this see I'm, I'm worried about that part I'm gonna flare this out yep you see what I'm saying that's a little rounder that's how the blood flows it's not it's not such a sharp angle right that's that's good okay so now I'm going to uh, score this on and the, the last part is to add one more tube. One more tube right there. It'll be a short little guy. Maybe one of these cast off pieces I'll put on here. Uh, but I'm gonna score this on and I'll put on another little tube to end. I'll probably trim this, this end up a little bit and maybe this end up a little bit too. Okay, so great. That is how to do the T intersection of your left pulmonary artery. Here's what it looks like so far.
without uh, attaching it. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye.